This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So, in this PyTest uh, topic number two, I mean, session number two, we are going to talk about two important things that how can you execute your test cases in a group just the way we used to do it in, in test TestNG, right? You can create multiple groups over there. Same thing in PyTest also, right? So you can give number of groups in the form of set. Okay, you can create number of uh, uh, markers. You can give that, and on the basis of you can execute on the basis of your markers and set over there. Second thing is that you can. We are going to talk about how to execute your test cases in parallel. So today we will write some basic Selenium test, and uh, we will try to execute them in parallel. It's pretty simple, much much uh, non-verbose code as compared to Java. It's like within one line of command you can execute everything in parallel mode. You don't need to ex write thread local and uh, you know uh, parallel flag and all those things. You don't need to maintain. So it's pretty cool. And uh, let's see how to do this. So first, uh, if you remember that in the last session we have written a couple of test cases over here. Let's see around uh, three plus three six plus one seven test cases. That's okay. I have written what I wanted. Okay, out of this something is related to let's see this particular test is related to a specific group or a specific set. So what you can do, you can simply write by test dot. You can give a marker over here. So simple write mark dot. Let's see this is uh, related to login. OK, just I'm just writing any marker login marker. So this is also related to mark uh, login. Let's see M3 is also related to login and M4 is also related to login. So and then uh, this also related to login, right guys? So these are the test cases out of which one, two, three, four test cases are related to login. So what I'm going to do that. Uh, let me clear the console. And uh, I'm going to execute this particular test. So how to do this? Only those particular test cases which are associated with a login marker. So I simply write py dot test and minus m you have to write minus m is for the marker. And what is your marker name? So my master name is login. Okay. So I simply write login over here. So let's run it. And can you see that two passed and two failed? So it means total four uh, test cases are there. So uh, that's okay. 13 deselected and four warnings. That's okay. But you can see that uh, two failed. So this was obviously got failed because uh, A is not equal to equal to B. Uh, so true got passed. And uh, this one also got passed. And this one got failed like that. Okay. So pretty simple. Like this, you can simply do that. It's giving you a warning that okay, you can register. I mean, you can register a custom market to avoid this warning for it is you can see here. This is just a warning and you can pass the exact uh, marker name also. So it will not give you the any warning, but you can see that uh, it executed test underscore M1 assertion error and test underscore uh, login FB. So it's giving you the failure test case over here like that. Okay, so it's absolutely working fine from here. Now let me clear it. Now let's create one more marker. I'll do one thing. Uh, out of this particular class, how many? I just want to execute only those test cases which are associated with marker, not from the entire suite. Because the last time what we executed PyTest means from the entire package, how many classes are starting with test underscore? It will pick those classes. But I want to execute from this particular test underscore demo one. So I simply say that okay, uh, pi dot test, and uh, let's see, this is my PyTest test underscore demo one dot by minus n login is a marker. So now you are getting same thing two failed and two passed over here. Okay, and I'll do one thing the same marker. Let's see. I'll write in demo two as well. Okay, for this particular test case and let's see for uh, this test also. Right, and then I'm going to execute once again. So clear the console and uh, this time what I say that okay hey. From the entire suite execute only those test cases which are having login marker. Now you can see that okay two failed four passed because now this time it's including these two test cases also. So four plus two six. So you can see that okay two from here and four from here actually. So like this you can give a marker and then you can execute on the basis of those marking. You can simply do that and you can get multiple marking. Let's say this is my not related to login. This is my 
home page related so you can simply write home marking like that now if you try to execute with home so let's see with home only okay now you can see two test cases got passed 15 deselected means why because from all these test classes 15 are deselected okay it's not picking because right now we are running this particular command py.test means from all these test classes that you have written everything is deselected only two got passed okay so like this also you can still do that you can try it's pretty simple we will see such kind of things when we design the page object model later okay now the second thing is we can execute in the parallel mode as well so for doing this uh, let's today we will write some selenium code with pytest so let me go to python file and uh, i simply say that let's see uh, um okay login you have to start with test remember this thing the file name should be test underscore right guys then only it will be picked you cannot write any random file because this is my test file so i simply say that okay test and uh, underscore web page okay uh, underscore login so let's see this is my page okay test page now to run your login i mean to run your test case in parallel mode guys what you have to do you have to install one package over here so the package is simple write pip install and pytest okay you simple write xdist package you have to install you simple run it and you will see that okay this package is already available with me but right now you can see that okay uh it got installed and it's saying it's already available but in your case it will be installed once again okay it will be installing once again and then simple do that and uh, it will be available in your uh, project over here so with this particular package you can execute with the parallel mode so now let's write some test cases over here so for writing the test cases what i'm going to do that uh, first i'm going to quickly go to a selenium package let me just copy some basic uh, imports and basic stuff from here so let me just copy this thing and uh, paste it over here because we need these sort of imports and i'm going to create some method over here so let's me our first method i'm going to create let's see uh, test underscore google right guys so this is my method name and uh, what i'm going to do that uh, this is the test that we have written that uh, simple okay that for every test launch google chrome implicitly wait of 10 seconds and let's see instead of this i simply say that okay uh, SGDP colon www.google.com like that. Okay, and once this is done, I want to assert something that assert what do you want to assert? Assert driver dot uh, get title, driver dot title is equal to it should be equal to Google. Okay, like that. And before that, I'll be uh, quitting the browser as well. So driver dot quit, but no driver dot quit. I'll be writing after this, like that. Okay. So likewise, I'm going to create uh, four couple of tests over here, like this. Okay. So some test I have written. Um, okay. Let me just change the URL. Google dot com. Let's see. I'm using. Um, let's see some other website whatever let's see facebook.com and the facebook uh, page uh, title will be facebook i remember the top title login let's say i think login or sign up okay and then i'll be using instagram.com instagram.com and the title will be i think instagram and uh, what else we can take gmail.com and uh, let's see this is my uh, gmail and then we can pick some other application let's see uh, something like this um, www.redif.com and whatever the title is redif okay so i'll do one thing let me just quickly get the correct title so i just go to redifmail.com or redif.com we can pick it right click on it go to inspect uh not inspect sorry about that one second view page source and let me get the title title is this you can see that copy this title and this is the title i'm expecting and uh, for gmail.com 
facebook.com okay this is fine for facebook.com this is fine let's see let's run it and let's see what happens okay so four tests i have written now what i'm going to do that i'm going to execute this particular file so clear the console and i simply write py.test and uh, this is my test underscore web page dot py i'm not running in parallel mode simple sequential mode let's see what happens okay it's uh, see one by one first okay first test is done and then it should pick okay it's saying one passed i think uh, everything is tough uh, 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 we have to change the method name okay sorry test underscore facebook sorry about that then this is my instagram i simply write insta test underscore gmail and this is my test underscore red if okay now let's uh, run it again from here same command and uh, let's see so it collected five items means five tests are there so first it's picking okay google and uh, then i think it's picking facebook okay then instagram it's picking in okay on the basis of alphabetic order guys so then facebook and i think uh, then redif.com and then it's saying one failed four passed because for facebook it's saying that uh, uh, we have to write this particular thing so let me just copy paste the exact uh, thing over here facebook login or sign up maybe some space problem okay perfect now let's run it again clear the console and let's run it again still we are not running in parallel mode it's running in sequential mode one by one see first google then uh, second test is uh, facebook so g e f then i instagram alphabetic order then uh, it's picking uh, google.com sorry gmail.com then redip.com so fine so i think it's good five test cases got passed everything is saying you can see five dots are there it means five test cases got passed now i want to run them in parallel mode so to run them in parallel mode guys what we have to do it's pretty simple and you will be surprised to see that simple write py.test minus n and how many threads you want to generate how many workers you want to generate you simply say that okay fine you generate uh, five it means five browsers will be executed at the same time see three okay so running in parallel mode let's see first three threads are participating three are done and two are running it perfect see let's make it uh so seven failed 15 pass because we are okay executing from all the test classes so i'll do one thing i'll be writing from the specific test class because the moment you write py dot test minus n5 means from all from all the okay test classes within your project right guys so i'll do one thing within this particular test web page login so i simply go to its uh, package name py test session so simple write py test session test underscore web page dot py minus n let's see i'm giving four i want four so you can see that four browsers are running at a time see everything in parallel mode this is gmail gmail facebook done and the one last one is this guy redif it's also done pretty awesome right five passed okay so it will generate if you write four it will generate four parallel execution so let's try some more let's see minus five minus n five let's see so you can see that okay five workers this is the thread workers actually okay are running over here and you can see that okay one by one everything is running in parallel mode and done super fast so you don't need to do any other configuration you just simply execute this thing now but what happens guys if you directly run this command minus n5 it will give you that this is not recognized or something like that right what you just need to do you have to install okay pip install pytest xdist you have to do that otherwise it won't work okay that 
that uh, command I'll give you in the description of that particular video. You just have a look and execute execute that. So XD ISD is important with PyTest. Then only you can execute with the parallel mode. So we will be using such kind of concept. Don't uh, okay worry about that. You can see that okay why when we are writing the duplicate code, we can write this. We can avoid this particular code with the fixtures and all those things. We can create some prerequisites, annotations, and all those things. That's a different thing. I'll tell you later in the next session. But right now, don't judge on the, this particular code. Uh, you can definitely we can improve it. This is just for your understanding point of view, so that you can understand with the right example like that. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this particular video, guys. And please try this. It's pretty pretty simple as compared to test ng. And I'm pretty much sure that okay, you will enjoy <coughs> by test series. Thanks a lot, guys.